All right, guys, so we are going to go to Blue Jay. Blue Jay is that way, and this is kind of a shortcut. Here's Bearcat Pass. We're going over here where there's no, where there's no signage. It's a lot of water. It's a lot of water. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Should we try this rushing water out? I mean, it's gonna suck if I fall, but the payoff. I mean, we just gotta get right there. I don't know if I wanna do this. Hopefully no, there's no bear attack. <laughs> this is gonna be sketchy. Sketch, full sketch. I'm gonna have to carry the bike. This is just safer. Oh, buddy. Oh, man. I hope that's not slimy. Oh. Oh, man. Dude, we made it across. That was sketch. Full blown. All right, let's go test out this sun tour. My hand. My love. Wolf Tech Nation. Thank you guys for tuning in to once again another Wolf Tech Videos episode. Guys, we are glad you are here because on today's episode we are in beautiful Hot Springs, Arkansas at, yes, you guessed it, the Cat's Meow. Well, we're not at the Cat's Meow. we got a little bit of trailing to do before we get there. But on today's episode we are super excited because we are going to be doing a little real-time review and a rating on our new Forky SR Sun Tour Aeon 35 Evo through axle boost. we got it coming up. Cat's Meow, everybody's favorite trail. I'm super excited about it. Once we get done here, I'm going to come back down uh, with Wolfman. We're going to test the uh, pressures on it, and then I'm going to go over to Blue Jay. We're going to hit up a little bit of Blue Jay as well, show you guys uh, some of the terrain over there, and then we're going to be scoring this for it. All right, guys? So without further ado, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you ain't a part of Wolf Dick Nation yet, and uh, let's get after it. guys here we go waterworks trailhead we're fixing to uh, hit up the cat's meow kind of want to give you guys a different angle beautiful day today and yes yeah, sloth we have the sloth cam right for you okay that's just for you now with today's episode of course we're fixing to hit the cat's meow we're gonna do a little bit of climbing let's go and put this fork in the lockout position and see how the lockout is. Wolfman wasn't a big fan of the lockout. See, don't like the lock. Uh, he was like, well, that's a fail pretty much, but we'll see how we like it. Fork right now is set at, uh, we got right at 70 PSI. It's what it recommends for riders my weight. Yeah, this thing's super locked out. This bike's like a rigid bike right now. Of course, it's the Ledge X1 with the 36 RC uh, DNM rear shock on it. I got that locked out as well. This fork feels super solid. So that's a good sign right off the bat. 35 millimeter stanchions. This thing's a beast, 140 millimeters of travel. Hopefully we can use all that up today. And then once we get done with this little portion here, we're gonna see how it handles some of the smalls. Then we're gonna go to the cat's meow. Once we get done with the cat's meow, I plan on taking this thing to uh, Blue Jay and really seeing how it hits with the bigs. Remember this thing is going to be rated on this episode and the rating is very important. Let's see how this thing stacks up. I guess against the only other uh, under $500, more than $400 fork that we've gotten, that's the RockShox 35 Gold. So that's gonna be its main competitor. You guys can probably see that fork on a later episode and we'll review it. I'm gonna go ahead and take this fork off of Walkout. I'm right at about eh, 12, 13 clicks of rebound. So I'm right in the middle. I do prefer a slower rebound, and I kind of want a higher pressure, but once we get done with the cat's mail, 
go back down to the truck and we'll see if we need any adjustments but we'll definitely be messing with the adjustments about halfway through the cat's mouth i'm not happy with it what's crazy is i can feel I don't know how to explain this it's so smooth with that stroke i can feel the rocks the pebbles the roots the roots i can feel all that but it's not bothering my hands my forearms or my shoulders i know it's there and i can feel it but this thing is just super responsive and super smooth over everything it's crazy it's like that next level up in money for sure everything's there but it just feels like i am in control and we're fixing to find out how in control i am in uh, because here comes the cat's meow everybody's favorite trail oh yeah let's get this thing ready to go guys the sloth cam is on the mask is on all right seat post drop down standing room only unlocked unlocked need my glasses okay guys oh man it's been too long it has been too long this summer we've got some awesome episodes coming so please hit that like button hit that subscribe button notifications on okay so right now just starting here's my pump section um i can't feel anything in the front end of this bike it almost feels numb uh whenever i hit anything that's a little bumpy so in that sense it's kind of changed since we've been at the bottom where i could feel all the little stuff now we're just gliding over everything oh this is great wow i'm so in control again guys with the uh with that fork being tapered and the through axle it just feels so awesome tabletop one handled it two is kind of woo, and three oh way over the front way too much look how much travel we used <laughs> not we didn't even use all of it remember this thing kind of rated a little bit higher than what we're used to let me get my little stopping point damn i forgot where it was at it's been so long all right so um dude we used a bunch of travel right now that is just crazy but not all of it remember this thing is at uh rates at supposed to be a travel 140 and we actually have got 150 out of it and we used a pretty good portion probably about 130 so some of the ranking or uh, review rating criteria is on the adjustments i think this thing is perfect with the pressure the lockout knob is great works good we're going to make this a tad bit faster okay so that was four clicks of rebound speeding it up let's take it back up here so we can get a little bit of speed because my spot between the trees is back there oh wow this bike is fun this fork is even funner all right so we got the famous spot between the trees and no i've never hit one of the trees down here one of these two in between here i haven't okay super smooth landing super smooth the smalls is amazing guys wow a lot of erosion oh, i'm rowing the hell out of it a lot of erosion on this trail um because we've gotten so much water big tabletop big hit oh dude that big it just soaked it up no problem in and out of the turns even it is super smooth i think my chain done fell off on the full squish here um but we're just gonna glide all the way down the bottom we're gonna talk about this thing guys wow got a little chain slap but that's not the fork's fault this thing was wanting to get dumb up there also let's see if we used up any more of the travel now let's see okay so we used we used a little bit more of travel i'd say we probably got a good 135 138 in there still got room to go getting so much air up there the uh, micro shift acolyte was like uh come back down so let's go ahead and reroute that we are good there dude super smooth on that guy all right so uh hit the cat's meow all the way down and back everything so far is pretty tuned in i have to say they're probably pretty uh true on their graph remember they don't have the graph on the lowers on this thing but they do have the little booklet and 70 psi was right where it needed to be for my weight and they're pretty on them so uh no adjustments needed but now i'm super what excited the oh no the rebound was perfect i got it right about 12 13 right in the middle of the 24 click so uh rebounds perfect but i'm gonna go hit blue jay up 
and see what we can do over there. But I'm really looking forward to this uh, fork review and the uh, the rating on it. Oh my god! I just rode up Valkyrie. A little shortcut you guys saw in the opener. That was legit sketchy. I'm so out of breath. I was riding the whole last part. I started just freaking falling over. It's so technical coming up Valkyrie. But we are finally to Hub H, I want to say. Are we here? Yes, we're Hub H. We're about to hit the Blue Jay. The trail's closed. What? Why? Why is the trail closed? What the hell? Dude, I came all the way up here wanting to hit this and the trail is closed. You know, they could really let you know down in the parking lot. There's nothing down there that I saw that showed that it was closed. I'm gonna call Wolfman, let him know. We'll hit Ragnarok. There's some bigs on there, some smalls. There's a lot of mixture. Nothing like the Blue Jay. I know most people would probably just go down it, but I'm not gonna do that because I don't want to mess up the trails that we rely on. You know what I'm saying? So let me call Wolfman, let me let him know. Yeah. Now, as to let you know, I get up here, um, I call him Valkyrie, and Blue Jay's closed. <laughs> no, <laughs> like they could let you know down the parking lot. I didn't see any signs. But I guess, I'm going to hit Ragnarok, I guess. I just be careful. That one bothers me. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm going to take a little break. I'm a little wore out. But um, I'm going to hit uh, Ragnarok in a second. And then uh, I'll give you a call when I get to the bottom because it's kind of that little shortcut to it. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys. Here we go to uh, Dreamcatcher. We're going to hit Ragnarok since the Blue Jay is closed. But the good news is uh, we've got the sloth cam, you know? So it could be worse. But let's get after it. Um, this this fork's going to be, uh, it's going to rate high, uh, of course, probably uh, one of the highest, if not the highest. <laughs> um, it's definitely one of the most expensive forks like we've been talking about. Um, and what's crazy is, uh, man, I, I don't know if there's a better, if there's, like, if it gets better is what I'm getting at. I don't know. Um, before I, get, before I forget, 70 PSI, remember we sped up the rebound. I thought we were at 12 or 13, we're at 16 on the faster side. I think that's the sweet spot. But um, I just don't know if it gets any better if you pay more money. Like what the hell do you get at that point? Anyway, here we go on Ragnarok, on the SR Sun Tour. This bike's got a lot of memories on this trail. I love this trail. And again, it's just, it's complete butter this fork up front once you start getting to this kind of speed i use the word numb on a cat's meow but what it is is it's just those 35 millimeter stanchions really start to kick in and it becomes another another animal man it's just you don't really feel much but you're in control still and it's just so beefy and fat up front i mean we're just cruising here and we're probably going to pretty good click right now guys but the front of this bike is just, the front of this bike, <laughs> it got a little slippery back there, is just performing so well. These are the Kenda Amraks. Um, it's just doing so good. Make sure I don't have any mud on the uh, camera. This technical stuff, I can point this thing wherever it needs to go and I can feel everything as soon as I go to slow down. It's like nothing gets past it. And as soon as you start to speed up, it is just, it's so awesome. Man, it's going to look good on Project Chong. It doesn't push you out of the push you out of the trail or out of the line that you're choosing. It's just super soft. And as soon as you think, as soon as you think, man, I really don't have any more pop or any more momentum to get out of this corner, it just so slightly gives you a little push. And it's just, it's great, man. Keeping momentum on this Ledge X1. It's so easy right now with this fork. The adjustment's gonna rate high. I mean, it's 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 tuned in perfectly. I love that. My my, whoo, my riding style, the way I like to ride, is just what the Sun Tour recommends as far as air pressure is concerned. Oh damn, we're getting some speed, buddy. It's really nice to have a fork that takes a lot of guesswork. Suntour's done a great job with just taking all that, you know, having to take it out here and take it out there and take all the time ooh, to get this thing dialed in. 
it's like, hey, put your pressure here, mess with your rebound a little bit, and, and send it, you know? And that's what I'm able to do with this fork. It's going to rate high, guys. Does it get any better? I don't know. We got that Rock Shocks 35 Gold. Oh, Berserker sent us. That we got on Project Gummy Worm. We're going to have to do a real-time review on that. That's coming up. Let's hit this. Ooh, yeah. All right, guys. Well, we just got done. I just got done doing the real-time review on the SR Suntour Aeon 35 Evo. 140mm travel fork. Took it down uh, the cat's meow, everybody's favorite trail. And then we went over to damn Blue Jay and it was closed, so I had to go Ragnarok, but that's fine. All right, I enjoy it just as much. So, well, uh, I don't care how much you enjoy that. I, was, I, I kept telling we should go to the jump park. You're like, oh, I'll do Blue Jay, I'll do Blue Jay, and then Blue Jay's closed. So. Yeah, so we can get all done here. But the good news is uh, I gave you some scores, and you we're did. fixing to find out. And we have a bit of a disagreement, it sounds like. We do have a little bit of a okay. disagreement. So, you guys already know the scoring system. If not, go back and watch some of the old videos and, and you can learn it. Uh, we have that budget fork video that is pretty popular that has a whole bunch of nonsense in the beginning. It has timestamps. Anyway, so let's get to the scores on this fork. So, on the looks and feel categories, for looks, you gave it a 4.8 out of 5. 4.8 out of 5. Uh, that, that's a beautiful looking fork. The only thing missing on that fork would be like one of those little charts on the side of the stanchion. That's the only thing. But other than that, is that man, looks though or is that functionality? That'd be looks. Okay. It can be both. Adjustability. I don't know. Is. That's the only thing that's missed. That fork, matte black, black on black. It's, it's black a very on black. Good you like fork. the black on black. Very good looking fork. Yeah. No, it is. It's a good looking fork. I don't know if I'd go 4.8. I probably would have given it probably more of a, a four, but it, it's a really good looking fork. Damn good looking. Um, feel. You give it a perfect five out of five. Five out of five. The rebound knob, the lockout knob, the little error cap, the weight of the fork. That fork is solid. It feels so good in the hands. And it's super light. For for as light as that fork is, you would think it'd feel cheap. Guys, that fork feels The fork well is put light for what it is. It's not the lightest fork we've ever tested, but it is it is light super for light. what it is. Yes. Yeah. It, it, it should be good. It should feel good. It's an expensive fork for us. Some people are like, that's cheap. Yeah. Um, now let's get into smalls. On the smalls, you gave this a 4.9 out of 5 on smalls. 4.9 out of 5 on smalls. It this is, is a small bump compliance um, whatever. It is, it is so good, guys. The great thing about this is at a low rate of speed, the responsiveness and feel is great. At a high rate of speed, it almost numbs out all of that stuff. And you can like, I don't know, it's like you become one with the trail. I don't want, I think the word numb is maybe a little like bad. It sounds like, oh, well, you can't feel any of the trail. You can, but in a way where that fork just, I don't know how to explain it if I'm making any sense. At a high rate of speed and a low rate of speed, you can feel the smalls just in a little bit different of a way. I don't know. It, it's it's. You feel them, but in a good way. Yeah, like. Is it kind of like a like a sports car that has suspension that you feel everything, but you feel it in a good way? In a good way. It, it was awesome. But man. you liked the way it handled it. Obviously. I only give it a four point nine. The only reason it didn't get a five is because I don't know if there's a perfect five smalls out there. Well, I don't, have you given a five before in smalls? You may have given may a five. Have. I, don't I don't know. I have to look back. Go back and watch. Yeah, go back and watch some of the fork reviews. Um, okay, adjustability. This is the, the the fork's response to rebound adjust, which it has 24 clicks of. 24 the, clicks. Uh, the response it has to adding air and taking air away, and uh, the you know stuff like that. The way it handles adjusting. Yeah, the adjustments were great on Give this fork. Give it a five. I gave it a five. Okay, that's perfect. Now the reason why is going down to Cat's Meow. I thought, well, you know, I do like a slower rebound with more of a poppier uh, tail end on the uh, air chamber, right? Like I just want that preload there. Um, I forgot that halfway down the Cat's Meow, I, I put about four more clicks towards the faster side, and it made a huge difference. And to have about, you know, give or take, say. 10 or 8 more clicks of adjustment is amazing to me and one of the best things I can say about that fork was that was one of the first times a book or a chart has ever said hey this is what you need for your body weight and you should be good to go. I set that and I didn't have to come back down to set it again. That's true. That is the first time I think we looked up a weight, we, we, did, we looked at your weight set it the sag was good everything was good and you didn't have to readjust no, it. It, 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 yeah, it was so. dead on. Lockout was, was good in my opinion. Bull no, it was great. It no, was great. Bull
You guys got to see it. The lockout is not good. It didn't move whatsoever. At 70 pounds, I could bottom that fork out lockout if I wanted to. You're 295 I, pounds. I, I, I understand that, but but the word lockout should not be used. It should be called stiffening, or it should be called, you know, making it harder to push down. I don't know. You but guys it, got it, to see Wolfman, Wolfman Dino, so you do you do have an area to say something. Yeah, I do. But and we pumped it up to 115 pounds of pressure in that thing, and it was better, but it is, I have to say, the worst lockout we have tested to date. Oh, no, no. I believe no. so. The number one thing people want to know is how did it handle the big stuff? Flat landing, a big jump, getting some air, coming down on it, Absolutely. nose for nose heavy, all that stuff. And you gave it a perfect 10 out of 10. A 10 out of 10? Guys, this fork, you saw me flat landed up on the cat's meow, right? You saw Ragnarok. This thing was super impressive. I mean, it saved me a few times. The really good thing to bring up about this fork, guys, is I still didn't use all of the travel, and those were some big hits out there. It's got a lot of travel. Yeah, big, perfect 10. It, okay, so, wow. Okay, the weight, the we, I settled with the 5.04. So 5.04 out of 10 gives it a 4.96 on weight, the score. Okay. Okay, but now, I moved, instead of penalizing the adjustability, I moved that down to the penalties section. No penalties on the stanchion. The stanchions were over the stan, the, I mean, excuse me, the, I keep calling stanchion. Travel. No, the travel. The travel was over and above what it was rated. And I'm not gonna penalize it for that because that gives you room for sag and still get the full suspension. Um, but it did, however, had the worst lockout that we've experienced yet. I don't care what he says. I'm there for that. I do the Wolfman Dino. It's not the Tick Dino. It's the Wolfman Dino. Even when you were on it, it would the lockout still gave. It didn't give as much, but it still yeah, gave. It didn't give it all today, but I'll it, let you have it, that. It did. It gave. I wasn't there, and I can tell you it gave. It did. There's no way it didn't give. But I'm penalizing it two points for the worst lockout yet. Okay. So to the total score, which we don't have the board with this, and we don't have the other. But really, this isn't a league of its own because this is it a is. So we're not going to compare it. Fork. We're not going to compare it to those anyway. We do have a fork coming up that we're going to compare it to though. But that's in the future. Yeah. The score after penalty is 32.66. Damn. Not a bad score 32. at all. 32.66. So what about 34.66 for which is super high. Yeah. 32.66 is fine. He went the penalty. But, but, but really, don't call it a lockout. Yeah. Well, don't call all, it a lockout. all in all, this is what I want to say about that fork before we do our closer. Guys, at that price range, right, $435, we'll put the fill link in the description below. $500 fork, we'll call it. I don't. I, I don't think there's a better fork out there. We are going to be doing the real time review on the Rock Shocks um, 35 Gold, right? We're going to be doing real time review, so make that sure you guys check out that and the rating because that's the only fork that can compete that we own yeah, that's with the Sun Tour. But what I'm almost. saying is, I don't know. Uh, if, if spending more than $500 on, on a fork, if you can get any better, that, that fork has got it all. There's little things here I mean, and there. I'm sure that you can get solid. better, but why do you need better? That thing is solid, man. Why it do you is. need better? Why Do you need a fork that just does it for you to where you don't have to ride the bike? You just yeah. go, I own the fork, don't have to ride the trail. It's already sandal. I don't see how I can get better. But anyway, guys, uh, appreciate you watching the real-time review on the SR Sun Tour Aeon 35 Evo fork. Check out the affiliate links for that bike, maybe the ALY 36R rear shock in the uh, affiliates below. If you guys want to buy us a cup of coffee, please do so. Support really cool builds and uh, being able to go out and, and, and film like this. Yeah. So we got a whole bunch of episodes coming up for you. It's, uh, it's you guys be can also become a patron if you want to. And you can find Extra out content. and you can watch the build on when we take that fork, sadly, off of the Ledge X1 and we put it on Project Chong. You can see what that build's all about over on Patreon. But uh, guys, we will see you on the next episode. Please like, please subscribe. We're out of here. Yeah.